So many of you have asked me for this one. This is how you render your sequences out from Unreal Engine as an image sequence using Octane Render. Let's dive in. I'm going to assume a lot of you already have a sequence that you want to render. I've got one right here, which I'm just playing right now. Just a slow camera move. And this is obviously playing back in Unreal Engine at the moment, the normal viewport. Let's load Octane. And by the way, if you're new to Octane in Unreal Engine, then please check out the video in the link above where I run through the full installation process for the plugin. So now that Octane has loaded, let's go to the render target actor. I've got my selected camera right here, the one that I'm going to render from, and I've also selected my light here, and I'm just going to click render. This is only going to render an image to give you a preview of what your exported sequence is going to look like. And you might be thinking, why would I render a single frame when I'm going to render my whole sequence out right now? Well, you need your render target to be active and rendering for this to actually work. Bear that in mind, make sure that you've got your scene rendering first. Now to get the sequence out from Octane. In your sequencer, there's the clapperboard icon right here. Normally, when you click that, that's going to open movie render queue. But we're going to click the three dots next to it and then select movie movie scene capture legacy. That's what we need to use to access Octane. So now you can click the clapperboard icon and you'll get the movie render settings. We're going to set that to Octane render image. I'm going to output to EXR32. Uh, my resolution, I'm going to set that to 3840 by 2160, which is exactly what I've set in my render target actor as well. Make sure that matches. And I'm going to select my output directory where I'm going to save my images. I'm going to set them to render to my Octane folder. Great. And once you've done all of that, you just click capture movie. Then you'll see this render bar come up and it'll start chugging through frames. But knowing how to render is only half the battle. You need the best render settings and to optimize your renders for speed. And if you want to know how to do that, watch this video next where I run you through those in great detail. See you there.